Hello, welcome back to Electric TV. As always, I'm your host, Dominic Giratano. On this program, we do our very best to highlight the American worker. And today we're at Bethlehem Steel in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, where at one time, tens of thousands of workers put out enough iron, enough steel to build one warship a day. That ship has sailed, and what's left is a haunting reminder of what used to be. But the Nika IBEW team, through its craftsmanship and professionalism, is doing its part to light up the stacks and make sure that people can see Bethlehem Steel for years to come. Bethlehem Steel, uh, back in the 40s and 50s, was the, probably the second largest company in the world. Uh, and everything flowed through Bethlehem. This plant built America, it built, a, you know, it was instrumental in the wars. So there's a lot of history here. I think it's very easy to forget history. I think in terms of, uh, you know, the way our society is really set up, uh, you know, you certainly, if you, if you don't want to forget, you can always Google it, uh, but you could never Google this. After more than a century, dormant and empty, quiet and still, is this hallowed ground in this hallowed town. You can't escape what you see, but if you listen carefully, you can almost hear the echoes of what once was a literal and figurative symbol of American ingenuity and strength. We felt it was important to allow people to really get a chance to see the plant from a different perspective, to allow people to sort of touch history. What's allowing for that is a newly constructed commemorative walkway elevated some 50 feet and situated directly above the old rail line, which used to bring in raw materials such as coke, limestone, and iron ore used in the steelmaking process. And through the inclusion of roughly 400 LED lights installed by the NECA IBEW team, the Hoover Mason trestle and the stacks are visible day and night. It was one of those projects that we really enjoyed doing. It was difficult, it was challenging. Probably the biggest set, uh, challenge was the safety of it. But every man on that job was interested in every piece of conduit they put in. And they put in almost 12,000 feet of it. To really do a, a quality job and, and provide uh, justice to, to what it all means down here, uh, as far as the skill and quality of work they used to do here. And we wouldn't feel right if we we came in and just didn't do our best and, and provide quality work and something that hopefully will live up to, to what was built here. That was a daily goal of mine and to, uh, of our, our guys. Lighting has been a very, very important part of this project. IBEW and obviously our, our, our electrical contractors, Westside Hammer, uh, have been a very integral part of this. They were involved both in terms of the, not only the construction, but also design. Uh, a lot of the lighting design here, they work collaboratively with our lighting designers to make sure that we could bring this thing in on budget. It's a living testament of history, and uh, it really is unique, and it's probably one of a kind in the country. The fact that we could have this trestle here, this walkway, and the fact that we took 1,800 uh, uh, acres of a brow field that in the process of redeveloping it really speaks testament to everyone here in the Lehigh Valley. For our contractor, Westside Hammer, which is a fourth generation contractor, to be involved in this site with the local 375 workforce is terrific. It sends a great message to the community of Bethlehem about what, what our contractors do and a terrific vision that it has for the future of the city. Westside Hammer electric they did a phenomenal job but you look at how intricate and complicated this was uh, it, it's a marvel that it was done and, and and the danger that it presented to the workers is from, a, from a layman's point of view I, I marvel at it when I see the lights coming from the south side or from the north side uh, but it adds a lot again to the site to the to the five blast furnaces that I I think they did outstanding work they're known for their quality and workmanship and they did a phenomenal job and I certainly appreciate everything that they brought to the site Strikingly obvious is the relationship now between old and new, between what was and what is, between the past and the future. Now I think it's about giving new life to something that provided a livelihood for thousands of local workers and I think it's about trying to bring that back maybe from a different angle. 
just neat that I got to be a part of it. That's all for this edition. Thanks for your time and attention today. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter for behind the scenes extras and industry information from Bethlehem Steel, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. I'm Dominic Giratano. We'll see you next time.